Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we are doing a cigar that Eric sent me、uh, because I just refused to buy the cigar, period. Okay? But apparently, they replaced the band. Now we can finally find a reason to smoke it. So,、hmm. okay. We are doing the definition cigar of five or fifth year. Special edition, by annual, annual, uh, SE, box pressed. So this is what we got. It's an ugly cigar. I, I'm I'm not even like doing it to, to to say that it's an ugly. Like okay, look look close. Just look it closely. You know what I mean by ugly cigar. Just look at it. Let's look at it. definition cigar. Five annos. Box pressed, six by fifty-four. It is a Nicaraguan puro, so a Nicaraguan binder, the Nicaraguan wrapper, and Nicaraguan filler. MSRP is thirteen bucks, and as you can see, this thing is spotty. It's ugly. It's just ugh. It looks like somebody beat it up, patch it up, and you know whatever. The band used to be、uh, that really ugly thing that you know you wear on your leg and just like breathing. But now they replace it with the band. Thank God, because like why? Why would you do that? So all right. So yeah, you saw the cigar. The cigar is ugly,、um, but I guess like I can't really blame them. It's just the way the leaf is.、It's、just ugly. See that? See that? Like looks like like it was a leaf that was good, and then some kid decided to like draw over with spray, like spray ink on it or something like that. And the new band. Um. It's better than before, but it's not. Okay, so before it was individually colored, like one of those leg thing. So you can kind of find out what that cigar is, and now they replace it with this. They didn't tell you what this is. Like if you didn't know this was the fifth year anniversary one, well, by Ano, um, SE, you wouldn't know what this is. There is no words on here. There's no way to figure it out. Not to mention their own website is not even updated. Like, what are you doing, definition cigar? What's your definition? That definition to me is like. <laughs> I don't really care. I'm not gonna update anything. I'm running a business. Not like I'm doing that, right? No. If you run a business, fix it. Like you know, you updated your band, fix your entire website. Like what? What are you doing? Do Do you even care? Do you even care? I I hope you do. I hope you do. Okay. All right. Anyway, enough whining. It's like a floral. Woodiness smell kind of like a like a floral air freshener or something. Like、not bad though. Not not a bad smell. Box pressed. E. Oh ho ho. ho. Earthy bonya poop. One pop, and peppery. Yeah, that first pop tastes like poop. 
really does. Definitely very barnyard. <clears throat> yeah, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, peppery, very peppery. That that give that very peppery. I'm gonna toast this thing. I'm gonna get that virgin poop taste. a little bit at the end uh, it just doesn't want to let here we go give you a little bit all right <clears throat> pepper definitely pepper chili pepper barnyard a little bit of leather just a little bit woodsiness Earthiness. Very dry. Some sort of baking spice. It's very spicy. All right. That's what I got right now. Let's smoke one third. Right back. All right. First stir. Now the ash is good. Construction is okay. The dry is okay too. But this guy's whole lot of nothing. Um, it tastes as the as I smoke it, it kind of got a little bit sweet. You get like cocoa nips and pepper and whole a lot of air. <laughs> it's just it dries up your throat. It's really dry. It's peppery and it's dry. It's just sawdust sand or whatever something i don't know just dry so I, I i don't see what's the good about this cigar it's just all right there's a little bit of nuance of that nicaraguan stink and that's pretty much it but just just cocoa stink pepper and dry very dry it dries out your throat it dries out your mouth like my mouth is dry so that being said, that's off this ash. It's good ash though. And let's go to the second third. Be right back. All right, second third. <clears throat> Still hold on to nothing. String rimmed up. Close to full, if not full already. What am I doing with this cigar? Man, geez. It tastes this really watered down sweetness cocoa. And then you keep getting dry mouth and pepper. What am I doing with this cigar? Why am I smoking this cigar? Now, if they meant to do that gutter thing for the leg thing in order to tell you that this cigar tastes like licking on the leg, dry up your mouth, keep coughing and stuff like that, they have succeeded. They have succeeded that. It's very strong. If you know what I mean. Alright. It's very uh heavy taste, if you know what I mean. But flavor, just like a leg. All you gotta taste is a leg. But this thing, all you gotta taste is pepper and light amount of cocoa. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. This flavor definitely not justify the strength. Definitely not justify the strength. I don't know what's going on with this. No, well, one more third to go. This strong cigar. I hope I can finish it soon. But that's 
Let's remove the band so I feel like the cigar is almost ending, right? Let's remove the band so I feel like the cigar is almost over. Uh, uh. Now, I don't have the old band to show you. Chances are I will put a picture somewhere here, how they look like. This is the one that doesn't have those old bands, so... All right, maybe maybe not that one, but this one. All right, um, and here's the band. Here's the band. Okay. There you go. It looks okay. A lot better than before. But again, there's not a lot of information on here. You're not telling me what cigar this is. You tell me what brand this is. But they didn't tell me anything else. So. Laster, be right back. Okay, so that is the end of the cigar. Close that. Um, it's a horrible cigar. <laughs> it's so much strength and then the flavor just keep dying down, dying down, dying down, dying down. And the strength just keep going up, going up, going up, going up. There's not much to this. Um, yeah. I keep giving it a chance, but the flavor doesn't really change. I mean, that's not very unexpected. It is a, a Puro. But at the same time, I don't think that combination of the Puro is good. Okay. So with that being said, my assessment of this cigar's value to me is roughly between seven and a half to eight dollars. Seven and a half to eight dollars because you do taste something. There is something to it, but it's like I said, the strength flavor don't justify. Yeah, I hear that a lot from a lot of my, my review is that when I feel like the strength and the flavor doesn't justify, it's not a cigar for me and it's not enjoyable. Unless you are you're smoking cigar just to get that buzz, that heavy feeling, there's really no reason to give a bonus to that. Like literally anybody who's smoking a cigar is looking for a cigar that is flavorful, that is within their uh, strength profile, that is relaxing. This thing, when the strength goes to a certain level and there's no flavor to back it up, it's a chore. So for me, that it's a chore right now. It doesn't feel that good. So yeah, that's what I got. All right. So thanks to uh, Eric sending me the cigar. Uh, and that will be it for this particular review. There's not much you, I can talk about this cigar because just that single flavor cigar with a lot of strength. So, all right. That'll be it for the cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out podcast, swag, membership, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.